Hey, hey, it is Magnus. No, there is no mic in the camera because it's not working really right now. I need an extra power supply for it. So until then, the webcam mic, the audio is what you're going to listen to. So sorry for some audio issues, but we are going to go into L.A. Noir. Let's get into it. Some 1940s old crime wave fashion. We are a police officer. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Oh yeah. Backton and California. Where every man can own his own home, and have room to breathe, and not be overlooked by his neighbors. Hey, I think that's a part of The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. Of course it is. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. I don't know what this one is. The city of pioneers. Alright, don't. It's kind of odd looking. The plane, but a half plane, and the front nose of it is a bit open. I don't get it. On there, the casting today. Oh, now I saw that. The city of dreamers. The human mind, medicine's final frontier. Look, there's a line. A city of undercurrents. Where not everything is as it seems. I would not go to these lectures. Sorry, I couldn't do it. A 20th century <laughs> city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries. Look, it's an eye. And it is an eye. Gotta be like that. Someone else is probably making fun of it, but it is coming out for the Switch. So I might as well play it on the PC. Before it comes out, because I, I don't have a switch and I am not going to be able to work. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Upon reflection. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. Oh yeah, I'm not a good driver. I just know. KGPL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. I like that. Stop. That does not. Get a 16 lane request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam, en route. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search. What are you doing to this car? That was just trash. He swerved in front of Ever me. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine and... Hey, we're there. Don't have to talk to him anymore. Ha. <laughs> Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles. I'm sorry, it looks like if he doesn't we recover have any the weapon, team. bag Wait, it and return it to technical like services. You're hurrying up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. That's what it is. It, it looks like he has no teeth. This is a fist hump. So yeah, I did try to record this motions. last night. You're probably it right. didn't work right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. I know what I'm looking better for. Than one. Because, again, I tried this last night and the audio didn't record. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. It is. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Um, uh, oh yeah. 
we can do locations. That way. Look at this junk. Yeah, this I would have not noticed before if I didn't play it before, but I knew where it was at. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? Reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. I think I can go this way if I remember right. Yeah. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Yep, got it. The good thing is, is I don't have to press anything to time these things or jump. It just automatically does it on its own. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? There we go. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. To me, it doesn't look like what has been shot, but I two see rounds that fired. it might have been. And instead of dropping it, it down a drain, our shooter this hoists it up here. And it was on Interesting guy. See, there is like two holes right there, and two of them. So I guess that's where the bullet was supposed to be. We should follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Oh yeah. All right, hang on. We're gonna go to the end of this stupid alleyway to get this marked off the damn journal. But yeah, we get to sure about do this? um not really our gig. Do clues, yeah. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Not really. Such a little boy scout cold. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Okay. Oh, and you can also, handy handy, so you can get directions from your partner. We can do this. Take the next right. Oh, quiet! You had anything? No. We have the uh, sirens. Stay on this road. I'm gonna have a map that I got to look at much last time. Keep going on this road. You think the sirens make them stop? Oh crap. I didn't do it. No. <laughs> I said I wasn't a good driver. Take the next left. I you don't even have that. Take the next left. Take the next left. I literally said I was not a good driver. Next right. Am I doing this right? Okay. I'm in tire signs. You're gonna wreck the car! No. You're gonna wreck it. Ha! Ah, we're there. We're alive. One piece. Ish. <laughs> the gun store. Any handle that's gold, we're allowed to go through. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 350. Huh?
fuck. Seven. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner. No, no. I'm not. Ah. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. I think we just had the book order book. on the back. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? All right. Model 27 with pearl grips, Thank Cole. Thank you. I think it's on you the see it on there? page. Um, sorry. Nickel-plated pearl grips. Okay. That's what I need to know. Mm. I want to make sure. We're in luck. <laughs> Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Awesome. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Let me tell you, are the one that sells the guns. Right? Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. What sucks is that it's all the way on the other side of the goddamn town. Like, all the way. See? Oh, wait. I, I, I think we got it. Oh, you can come down this way to go this way to go back up to go down this bridge. Okay. So, we can... Yeah. Crap. Go left just now. Left here. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. I should probably put the sirens out, but I don't want to. Take the next right. Turn left here. You did not just tell me turn left when I'm not out there. You did, you son of a bitch. Oh, make it out your way! You're gonna wreck the car! I am not gonna wreck the car. Oh god, come on, people. There's a horn on this thing. I guess that's what sounds That wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's mm. no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. <laughs> really are full of it. He really is, but sirens. I'm my way. I got tired of people being in the way. Sirens, it ends all the way. It's gonna be my way. I'm gonna get you out my way. Come on. Straight on. You serious? He's thinking people have to get in the lane that I want to get into. Stop just ahead. There we go. I didn't stop. You stop on your own. Schroeder's apartment. Oh, there's a shoe store there. Dude, my car is sitting there. It's a cop cop. Need some repairs. Hey, you were stopped. I have the right, the right to go past that. Schroeder, apartment two. I'm gonna do all the way up these stairs. Well, not really. Uh, apartment two. Good hell. Apparently, I wasn't set right. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Ooh. Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. 
What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. Why would you if kill a guy you work with? What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking ah. me down for this. That's a big punch. You ready, tough guy? That was a very bad... Oh, I gotta hold this. Ooh. I am a fucking block. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's trying to get up. Come on. Quit prancing around and hit me. All right, fine. I'll hit you and hit you and hit you. Oh, wait. Ow. Hard hit. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Duh, run. I like the investigation music. Artie Somers, Frank, Clayton, Leroy, Tate. Leroy, Tate, F. Greer? Kaplan, Ted Rossi? Dalby, Dirtle, hey, look. Floyd. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Well, I mean, we didn't leave it, leave it where we found it. We put it on top. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. And that is the first case we have solved. Those detectives didn't do nothing. But I still don't understand what the backstory here is. Like the backflash? Flashback? Back. Flash. Flashback is. Something about like the, the war. So let's do the war. And these the three particular people in, in particular. One of them is us. You dumb fucking sons of huh. bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and okay, have you do in the like brain. To say that. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking nah. stooges and you're here for OCS. What is OCS? God I don't help know. this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking How names? How are they report? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Well, they didn't know. Like, how can you blame them for them not knowing which one's the bus? The right bus. It's a mistake. Honest mistake. Oh, that's great loud background noise. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. The armed and a city dangerous. that needed an honest cop like a thirsty out. man needed water. You heard the stories, but no. you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight. Shapes. Solve cases, right wrong. The force is like. Can you say who called last, please? No. Just now. Guy's not on here. Oh, there is. The 637. That one. Is that the last call? I don't know what time it is. It's 7.51, so yeah. Okay. Can you close that door? Oh, yeah. Did yeah. Even Layla is staring at you for that. Ugh. Okay. Politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. Hey, right. A brown huh. paper envelope? Or a All right, I was in a liquor store. Holly man, business college. All units at 2-11 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. You know, I get a shotgun. Nah. We'll take that. 
It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. I have to take over. I didn't know that last time. I was kind of a bit shocked that I took over driving and cutting. No one's getting in my way. It's the next right. This right. <laughs> oh my god. That was pretty awesome. Quick, you guys, the cops are here. We gotta move it. Thanks. Now we need a new windshield. All right. I should reload. I know. Oh, the guy there, that's what I'm concerned about. Ah, there we go. Try for the front door, keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. Kill him. And it's the electric chair. Slow. I'm not taking it Back slow. We'll be here soon. Oh my god. I didn't mean that. Ow. Stay down. I got injured. That's it. Look, look at we my got back. them all. I think we got them, Cole. How am I still standing? Should be all clear. I have portals all in my back. How the hell am I standing? Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Yeah, especially since my back Man was covered in bullet holes. You didn't have it very well. Just, just saying. That was your... Uh, uh, okay. Flashback time. I, I don't... I still want to know what's going on the flashback. Really do. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask I for. think that's us right there, stand up. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. Yeah. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory uh -huh. and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Oh, okay. So that's what they are. They're the, the, the ones trained to be the leaders of the groups? Is it military? Interesting. Oh, nice. Warren's Cole outstanding. Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Dang. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet do we ever go home? could never walk away from a fight. Like, seriously, do we ever go home? Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for all. Uh, uh, Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Go chase the bad guy. Wendell Bowers, stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourself. Oh, he's Why the one who made the guy. Watch it! He's hiding in the air! <laughs> Not cool, trash. The dumpster. Dump guy. Bowers! Hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot. What's not cool is when you're you shooting. Again, Jesus, son, watch your fire. With me there. You don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. We have a lot of running to do. Stay the hell away from me. Uh, don't, don't do it. Ah, you did it. You kicked me in the face. You've got to be kidding. But you fucking asked for it. 
You're the one running. If you didn't run, what would you do? Going back inside. This way? Yeah. I almost I forgot which time. way to go. It's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once. Man, for a guy in the suit, he can run. Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! <laughs> Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Ooh. Come on then, pretty boy. I'm gonna get you. No, oh, no, no. I saw that coming. How much blood can you freaking drop? You doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. <laughs> you can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Shouldn't nice have work, jumped bro. You run track That's in high school? Don't jump your parole. You get done faster with the law if you do your time. I talked to parole. No flashback. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and the your ability to get them makes frankly face looks and funny. truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. No. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, eight. I want to know, did seven, he make it this up? Or did, like, six, the guy manage Kowalski, made him six, my last talk to Five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office now. He looks so funny in the flashback because of the way the flashback waves are going. Making him seem all weird. What the hell? Fire beware. Must be our last For every case. cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, oh, that get up and go to make you stand out from your average rank and file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Who's talking to us? Uh, what happened? LAPD! Could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. How was you with a different partner today? Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. Yeah. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Wow, he is bleeding. Broad daylight. Crowded street. Now I've seen everything. We have something here? Oh, we do. A layway voucher. C. Galetta. Huh. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Mm-hmm. What about... Oh, wow, I didn't know this. This arm. Is there anything particular about these arms? No, I don't see anything. No, 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 not the other arm. Can we go to head. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, he's he's a dead. No, stop hanging that one. 
All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. My wife. Mm. Okay, um. Blues. Shooting. The layway voucher? Uh, it doesn't give me much help. Hmm. A little bit tougher. I wonder if I can interview people. No. Nope. Let me through. I just want a quick look, is all. Oh wait, you you said. I swear this town's going straight to hell. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. There we go. What exactly I didn't know how to I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Ooh, okay. You want to take a look around now? The witness can wait, Cole. We've got the perimeter. I want to see... We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. No, no, no. I'm going to check her. I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to ask the witness. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are? Ah. Galleta. Clovis Galleta. We got a name. What? What? You think you could tell me okay, exactly there we go. I what didn't know happened? What happened. I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. Uh-oh. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I got a judge if the judge is going to... I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. Do, okay, so I just had to press it. I'm having a hard time believing that, young lady. Do you want to be taken to a police cell? Incorrect. You're hardly any older than me. I did Don't correct. you dare talk to me that way. A man is dead, Miss Galetta. Uh -huh. And it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. I will take you downtown. Get out. Get out right now. Uh, Send in one of the other policemen if you must. But I won't say another... Can, can I... Can I back that up? Word to you. How can we, uh... No, not her. Okay, so can I... I suppose I must look a mess. Okay. Well, may have uh, scrubbed it. Okay. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Um. I'm trying to imagine you with a personality. Can you give me a hint? This is a crime scene. All of you move along. Some of us have work to do, buddy. Looks like there's something in this trash can. Thank you. My partner. A gun. Yeah. Hey, we go. FN Browning. Serial number zero one one three eight. I need to run it by a gun store. Okay. We have the murder weapon. 
but no murderer. The girl saw it all, but she clammed up on it. We could trace the gun. Eagleson's gun store's a couple blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Oh, I have to drive. Why can't he drive? Why do I always gotta drive? I didn't put the location in. Uh, okay, so where is it on us? That's us. That's over there. So we do we could go on the next, the first right. Okay, I think I got it. So this first right. What did I tell you about going too hard on the witness? She's a store assistant, not a prisoner of war. Is that supposed to be funny? I'm just saying that sometimes you need to pour some sugar on these broads. A little bedside manner can go a long way. And since when are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. Huh. She was a looker, though. Tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly so obsessed with bedside manner. Yeah. You gonna leave a street light intact on this block? Yes. Straight through the intersection. Alright, I think I'm getting here. You need to take the next left. We have to be here. The only one that can't stop. You jerk! You saw that? He went right in the lane down there. There was nothing in his way. Hey, we're on the same side. Officers. What can I... Officers ah, Phelps and Dunn, sir. Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. <clears throat> Don't say. I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over it's here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar huh. Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where mm. we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Interesting. Well, no, no, yeah. I need a go to the We are going to finish this mission. Then, this case. And then we'll go ahead and do it. Okay. Map. Oh, wow, we're not far. So we can just go up two blocks. And then turn. On the third block. Can't stop the trolley. Would you get out of the way? Damn. Ah, well, I can't honk a horn. Sweet. Nice. I did it not so bad this time. I've done it probably a lot worse in Grand Theft Auto 4. A lot worse. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. Huh. I'll buzz him for you. Huh. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer. Oh, thanks! Ha <laughs> ha Oh, yeah, that's right, I have a map. Hello! Get back here! You couldn't just talk to me just nicely, could you? This is a bigger run chasing than I've had before. Too late, Kalu! I can't tackle if I'm not near. Oh. Oh. Don't make it worse, Kalu. <gasps> no. Can I, I retry? Officer, 
Officer Cole Phelps. Oh, thank you. Are you oh, Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Oh, I could have just go, scaled go, it. Go. This time I was faster because I knew I was going. Away. Kalu, get back here! What am I aiming for? I can't well, injure him. I don't get it. What am I supposed to be aiming at? Too late, Kalu. Going to church doesn't lock them up and throw away the key. In the garage, Ugh. No, I'm not doing that. You can see us running. Don't make it worse, Kalu. What am I supposed to do? There he is, officer. Thanks, all freaking people. I think I know. I'm chasing him. There we go. Wasn't letting me do it. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Does he know Ever Gage? Is there a reason why he murdered Ever Gage? Big happy smile. The case that makes you, <laughs> and the case that breaks you, the one you never solve, the one that keeps you awake at night, Ooh. the case that gnaws at your guts and ruins Who your marriage. Who is talking anyway? Who's the narrator? The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs, okay, the might have beens, the half leads, and the half truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Um, yes, sir. Yeah. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man who of initiative. He? How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? Oh, what? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am young Phelps. I was horrible with the one. You've wine. only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. What? It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. I'm not. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. But what? 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 If what? you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Uh, How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Okay. Oh, um, um, that's gonna be a toughie. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. One dog. Uh, oh. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? Well, that's the right thing. I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. How? Oh. He's not looking straight at me. Um... Okay. I'm gonna say lie. You deny owning a Browning pistol, serial number zero one one three eight. I owned a gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen in a burglary a couple Aww. years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage.
Gage was an asshole, but his death wasn't down to me. Uh, uh. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Oh, no, I'm going to keep going. What? No. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy. I need a confession. Okay. Ugh. These are hard. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. He's not looking straight to say, is he lying? Um. You blew no! that out of socks over an empty. Ah. Uh. Grudge, you son of a bitch. Do you think I have sympathy for you? That's the way. Keep needling me. Try the rough stuff, and my lawyer will be making an official complaint. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you uh. run around in circles. <laughs> We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. I am. Do I get this right? You disappoint me. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Man! Interviewing is hard. Ugh. Is your lawyer arrived yet? No, you can't get one because you killed a man Has in cold blood. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my uh, lawyer can clear all this up. Hi. Is that correct? Come on, Mr. Kalu. Make this easier on yourself. Get it off your conscience. You think I'm stupid? You think I'll just do whatever you want because uh -huh. you're a nice guy? So number two is not the I've answer. I've just got to keep my mouth number shut one isn't really and well. watch you run around in circles. We're done. Maybe number three? Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Yes. Yes, I am. Let's here I go. Do you get it? Go back in. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! He's got a big nostrils on his nose. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. Okay, so we know number two is not right. So it has to be number three? You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 01138. I, I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Okay. Um... You had the hey, I got it right. I bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you worked. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Nebishes? Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? Ah. You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. No. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. I am going to remove an answer. Uh. 
so I could get doubt. Oh you yes, thank God. Left wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? Go you to your PlayStation. I think those kids turned it on. I can't tell. Go look. I will. Not now. Later. It's, it's hot. Okay, I will get in a minute. Sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. You That's are that stupid Gage. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of ever. We Gage. got it. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake. The jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you. Sir. Oh my God, we did it finally! Haha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, yep. lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. <gasps> A shining, honest oh, face I'm sorry, the you're gonna move up? I applaud a man with your talent no, no, for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needed. Oh my god, we're gonna get a promoted! Nah. Wait, what about a partner? I mean, he's sitting right there. Hey, we got Gmail at Police Academy. Oh, sweet. That was actually the first section. A promotion! Prepare for reassignment! That is freaking awesome. Alright, but I'm gonna leave it here for now. This is actually interesting. I did not actually like The interrogations are actually a lot harder to do than I thought they were. Uh, it will take me some time to get used to that. Definitely. But, um, for now, I'll leave it. Those of you like this, hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time. Peace! Hopefully, in a few weeks or so, I will have the microphone back to working.